All right, what is up, YouTube? Today, I will uh, be showing the fifth deck that I am thinking about ta taking. Now, this is a variation of the 12th place Michigan Garden City Regional deck that I was playing for the, I believe, the week before. Um, like I said, uh, like I said, man, when I was playing that deck, Terra Top is just really, really good. I really liked it, um, the fact that you could just, you know, special summon it and pretty much just get a free summon and whatnot. And then, like, the interaction with Ghost Arc to go into a Levier or go into a Grand Pulse to pop a back row is just really good. And like I said, man, zombies need that, you know, extra kick. So uh, this is a variation of that deck. Now, it's not the same because he does not play. He doesn't play the, the sheer new traps. But I, I just, every time I don't take the, every time I don't play this card in the deck, it ends up biting me in my ass. So I'm just... I'm just not going to do it again. Um, so, yeah, uh, I am playing, what, seven traps. So, this is pretty good. It is 42. Um, but, like I said, there's not really too much thinking I can narrow down. I could probably check out the Dark Holes. But, to be honest, um, I'm thinking Dark Holes really, like, Dark Hole and Regeki is really going to be. I don't have Regeki. So, I mean, I, I'm not going to play it. So, um, if I did have Regeki, it, it would definitely be in here. Um, I don't know what else I would be able to take out, though. So, maybe I'll just keep Dark Hole. I, I don't know, but. Yeah, if I have Regeki, it's probably one Regeki, one Dark Hole. It, I mean, it didn't matter. It, it, it'd be whatever. It, it'll be in here if I had a Regeki. But that's neither the point that we are talking about right now. Um, what I'm saying is, uh, what I believe that Dark Hole is going to be good because, like, um, Dark Lords, they just they just came out, so they put they put massive amount of cards on the board, and then like they use their effects to target the cards in Grave to try to special summon and continue more boards abc's they put out a bunch of monsters metal folks put out a bunch of monsters everybody's trying to put out a whole bunch of monsters to stop you i mean stop you from playing now with dark hole easily clears that regeki dark hole slash regeki easily clears that whole board so you really don't have to deal with it so i'm thinking that this is going to be good um it uh it probably not going to work out for the best but i think in it, this in theory i think it should be good and i really believe everybody should just start you know, we're gonna, probably going to see Dark Hole Regeki a lot more because you don't want to have to deal with your, you don't want to have to use your monsters to deal with people's like, uh, like boards. And I think the only thing this is bad against is Magic Specters. So if you just play Magic Specters, you just need to pray to God that you can win. So yeah, that is about it. I guess with the deck, let's just get straight into the duels. And before we get into the duels, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, definitely leave a like. Let, let me know what you think about the deck by leaving a comment. Also, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you like zombies and whatnot, I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot. So you get three videos a week. So, yeah, I mean, uh, there's no reason for you not to subscribe if you do enjoy this video. So you won't miss out on any video that I put up or whatnot. Also, if you guys can, please click it. Ooh, excuse me. Click an ad to help support the channel. Would be very appreciated to show your appreciation and all that jazz and stuff. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right. And we're going up against Donut King. I believe we played him already. Um, probably did. Let me go ahead and fix this screen. And um, this is a 40 card deck, so I don't think I'm playing my deck that I was supposed to be playing. I have not, but you know what? We're going to just play with this for the first one. Uh, let's see what he has. We just activate this brilliant fusion. I um, mean, he does not have anything, so they're going to go bam. This is the light sworn deck, so we're not we're not we're not going to do this because this is the light sworn deck. I forgot to change my deck. Be right back. All right, so we did get a rematch against Donut King, and he's probably going to go paper because I've picked uh, paper for the last time, and he's changed his deck, and we have opened up pretty good. We we sure have. We sure have opened up really, really good. So we're going to spell some of this Terra Top. Activate this young Terra Top's effect. Hopefully he does not have something for it, and he does not. We're going to get this young man known as Speedroy Totten Thongborg. We're going to normal summon this Summoner Monk. Do you have a maxi, bro? Come on, Donut King. Please, please, not the maxi. Anything but the maxi. Please, no maxi. Please, no maxi. Please, no maxi. Please. Sing it with me, everybody. Please, no maxi. Please, no maxi. You know what he probably going to do? He probably wait until after I special summon to make me commit to the actual board. Which I probably, I'm, I'm not going to do. Oh no, he's lost another connection. Jesus Christ. He had quit the first time, but now, um, let's see what we can do now. Hold, hold on, be right back. 
All right, so now we going up against Boy Epic. Boy, you're finna get an epic duel today. That was that was the worst thing I've ever did in my life. Um, oh Jesus, look at the fucking hand. This is brilliant. Um, also another thing which I don't usually play. I actually play Soul Charge. Um, I don't like the card, but as a realization of my other video, um, we need like to um see this is where. Whoa, see, like, this is where Dark Hole is going to come in handy at. It's exactly where it's going to come in handy. Um, wow. Wow, okay. Okay. Well, we can just start off with bullshit. Did he send Trick Clown? Please send Trick Clown. Thank God. See, this is why Dark Hole is fucking good right now. This is why Dark Hole is good. It's because of shit like this. He's going to have a unit zombie. And now we're going to have to deal with this. We're going to have to fucking deal with this. This is going to be horrible. He still hasn't normal something yet, everybody. Um, but uh, what was I saying? I was talking about Soul Charge. Oh, yeah, Soul Charge. The reason why I decided I do want to play. Uh, I don't like Soul Charge because it's not really good any other turn. But first, for, like, for me, it's not really good for zombies. Like in turn three, I can't stop like attacking. I literally have to beat my opponent because their decks are so much uh, so much faster and so much, you know, better than ours. Uh, he milled a wolf. And he, he milled two light swarms, everybody. He milled one, but drew two. Why Why was that? Am I tripping, or did he not draw two? At least, at least he's milling off all the spell cards. I'm not tripping about that. Um, as long as he, like I said, he doesn't have fairy tales, so I'm not really tripping. Uh, what was I about to say? Um, yeah, Soul Charge. Uh, the reason I, I, I like, I mean, I wanna, I'm going to run Soul Charge now is because, like I said in the video... I believe I don't know if it was a Thursday. I don't know if it was the second video on Thursday or it was the first video, but we have a problem keeping a zombie on board for uh, for the swallow slash. So to alleviate that problem, we use soul charge and like we and we can just like literally leave a field of like at least one or two zombies on the field, and then bam, we have a swallow slash already equipped with our like double omega moonlight or something like that. You know what I mean? Like it, it, I, I, that's why I want to play soul charge now. Hopefully. It works out, and especially since we're playing uh, Gym Knight, we can easily just get two monsters in the grave, and then probably start something. But you know, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh is, man. You know, you don't get the best of hands. Now, I don't know what the hell Boy Epic is doing. Wow, his hand was that bad. Jesus, do you see my hand? So what we're going to? Hmm. What can we do? Now we can go. You know what we can do? We could go. We can go, um, we can go Dweller, we can go Dweller Scarlight, we can go, we can literally go Dweller Scarlight, we can do this, and go into, what's the name, actually this would have to, no, actually, yeah, 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 okay, I know what I'm talking about, um, we won't be able to beat him though, what is that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 25, 25, and he will, he will, can't get that back, 25 will put him at, uh, 25 put him at 25 will put him at 55 there's no way we can't game him with that sadly i don't think we can so let's see what we can do we can definitely we're definitely going to normal zone this um you know what i fucked up i fucked up no i didn't i didn't fuck up all right so what we're going to do is we have to i believe we have to go shove in the saga right now Oh, okay, never mind. I know how to get around this. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go Shogun Saga, but that's after we do this play. We're gonna go with Zuki with this, right? Um, get you in defense. We're gonna special summon Totten Totten Board because that's cool. Oh, we played Goblin Zombie in this build, so that's even better. Um, then we're going to go into a Levier. We should be able to... Um, yeah, we should be able to get over his whole board. Yeah, we should be able to. Um, use said Levier by detaching the Totten Tom board, because it doesn't matter. It's you, right? See now this is 
we can I don't want to compost this because I don't want him to keep it and I don't want to get rid of my dweller so I don't want to go. see now this is this is the hard part it's what I do now see um no you know what do I keep the Mizuki under the dweller or do I detach it um and I think I have to yeah okay I think this is the better play is to um detach this and then um we can do this this is this is this is a good play you know what we're not going to be able to uh, we're not going to be able to do the best we play goblin zombie right no we don't play goblin zombie in this build i have to fit goblin zombie in this build um so we're going to do this and we get to keep a levy here for next turn and we have a dweller so like i said unless he has the regeki which he probably has then we're going to be okay and if you guys can see where I'm going with this. We're gonna go shark the um I'm gonna start the go shark the chief freeze. And with that being said, we're gonna pop you. So now you don't get no effects. And then we go into uh Shogun Saga. And you see I'm talking about you see you see the synergy with the deck. This is why I love uh Terra Top. Because this happens with Terra Top. This is exactly what happens with Terra Top. This shit right here. And this is just is this look, we can gain advantage and we can keep we can keep look, we have a Levier Dweller. Look, look at this. This is this is just good. This is really good. And then we have like we have a Mizuki. We have another Mizuki under there. We have an Icarus. I mean this has nothing to do with the Terra Top, but this is why I love Terra Top in this. I love Terra Top and Zombies. I love Terra Top in general. I hate it when it's used against me, but I love it when I I can use it because this this is just it's, it's brilliant to have. Look at this. This helps out so much. And if we had a brain fusion, we could we could have did even more plays. We really could have. Um, so let's go ahead and just set this. Uh, we probably could have forced him to have a less than a thousand. But what we're gonna do is okay. Yeah, standby phase. We're not even gonna wait. Because most likely he's gonna have Westman, so he's gonna probably have a Regeki. That's just that's just the nature of the business. That's just the nature of these games, man. He's gonna have the Regeki. Boy, epic! Come on, epic boy! And we shut him down for one turn. So unless he has like a snow, I don't think he's gonna be able to come back. You know what we can do? We can tribute this and banish the um, samurai, and a samurai to get him back. So when he dies, he can bring this back, and then we could just bam, 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 and you know continue the synergy. So he doesn't have his graveyard. He has to literally get rid of Levier because Levier is just going to keep recycling these Mizukis and the, the solitaire and anything I banished. So um, fuck. He's forcing my hand, but he doesn't have a what's the name. So I think I'm going to let this go. He has no Raiden, right? Yeah, there's no Raiden. So the best he can do is go Minerva. Hmm. It's just dependent on, you know what? I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that all go. I'm going to let this all go. Unless he goes into like a, okay, Minerva. I don't care about Minerva. Do I? I don't care about Minerva. I can get rid of Minerva on my own. Oh, don't mail no lights for it. Yay, he mailed nothing but spells and traps. That's fine with me. Um, this, I just need him to normal summon. So I know he literally has no more plays. Um, he probably has a soul charge. I know he has some type of limited card in his hand. I just have a feeling he mailed all three twin twisters, which was beautiful. I just feel like he has a uh, what's the name in his head. He has to have something. Fuck, that is not what I want him to have. I don't care. You can book whatever you want to book. Um, at that fuck, I did not want him to have that snow. That snow really hurt. Can't do anything about that. We can't do something about this. Oh, he surrendered. Why? 
you know what? I wouldn't even have killed the snow. To be honest with you, I wouldn't even killed it. I would have left it, and then I probably would have beat him because I probably would have banished him to Zoot. No, that would have been bad. I mean, yeah, I, I just would have I would have castelled this back because I would have just bam got him out and then left year for Mizuki and then do what I do. He probably was gonna attack over this though. So I mean, now nah, he would have attacked over this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that was pretty good. Uh, Fifteen minutes does get enough. All right, so we are going against After Scope. He's in the thirteen hundred, so he is going to pick Paper, and we have started off with a Brilliant Fusion, and we have also started off with the Summoner Muck. Um, so that is good, Seraph Knight. But what is not good is we have drawn the Trick Clown. So what we're going to do is send the Garnet, and we're going to send the Snow, because you always want the Snow in the graveyard. And let's go ahead and put on Ignore Chain, so we can do this. Get the extra normal summon. And then <clears throat> we can end with Reflasia. Um yeah, we can end with Reflasia Double Omega. I believe this is I believe this is it. Yeah, this is double this is double this is double omega Reflasia, which is fucking brilliant. Actually, this could be triple omega because I do have a Mizuki in my hand. So this can be triple omega if I want it to be. But we're not gonna we're not gonna do all that. We're gonna we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it simple, everybody. We don't wanna we don't wanna abuse our opponent like that. So um send this. Normal summon this. And hopefully, hopefully they don't fuck me over. Hopefully they don't fuck me over. Ooh shit, we could have went void. Now that is that is something we can do. We can go void. Hold on, let me see. I believe we can go. Wait, hold on, let me see. This right? And you leave me with you. Oh wait, I think we can go. Oh wait a minute, I think we can do it. I think we can go triple. I think we can go uh, void double omega, void double omega, and then um, a Rephrasia. Am I not mis? Am I mistaken or something? Oh yes, I am super mistaken. I can't do that. Okay, I can't do that. I can't do that. Actually, I can. I can if I want to. But no, no, no. Actually, I can. I really can. Is that is that just the better play, everybody? I know y'all can't talk. I can just banish what one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck. Oh, seven. Okay. No. Okay. We're, we're going to do that. We're going to go. We're going to do all that. We're going to do all that, folks. We're going to do all that. Oh, my phone's gone. Um, we're going to do that, folks. We're going to do that, folks. So hold on. Hold on real quick. Let me let me do the play. Um, we're going to go. Uh, let's go to the second Omega so I can make sure that I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. I should be I, I should be doing this right. Should be doing this right. And then with the uh, the double omega, uh, with the double omega, we can just return all this to the graveyard. Um. So yeah, we we're, we're good. We're good. We're good, man. We're we're really good. We're really fucking good. And we have replaced it. So now we we got rid of four cards. Technically, technically out of his hand it should be four cards. And then, um, that's this. That's this. Really good. So, brain infusion. One, two, three, four, and one more. Six. Look at that. That is just. That's just amazing, folks. That is just amazing, folks. We started off with a brain hand, and we're going to end with a brain field. Um, and now this is this is where it gets hard. Where what do we put in the grave? That's the whole thing. That is the whole thing. What the hell do we put in the grave? And I think it's going to be Mizuki and a Sage. Um, yeah, there's going to be a Solitaire and Mizuki. I think a Solitaire and Mizuki is pretty good. Um, he's getting he's continuing to play. Thank you, Afterskull, for continuing to play. Um, 
Do we want? Yeah, we have to get Sage because that's the only way we're going to continue to keep doing our level eights and whatnot. And so look, man, we're we're set. Oh, look at that lost connection. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is this is man, this is brilliant. Man. This is why brilliant fusion is just so good in this deck. Look at this. Look at this field. Look at this field, man. Look at that field. Let's get one more duel. Uh, no, you know what? Let's get. Uh, let's see what we get. Let's see how long the duel. All right, so here we go against Dario Venice. Uh, he's probably going to go rock again, and he does. And we have won the Darius Road, but he's not playing the extra, so it looks like he's playing Dark Worlds. And we've opened up actually pretty ass. So you know what? What we're going to do is it's going to end our turn because since he is put, wow, he has a Max C, I think. So since he's playing Dark Worlds, like I said, our, my theory about Dark Hole is going to no, he's not playing. Oh, yay, 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 go Sark, go Sark me. No, fuck. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Well, you know what? We're zombies. We can put a shit ton of board. Oh, you fuck. Well, this dark hole is going to come in handy. Um, sadly, he did not go Sark me. Um, Gonna take this 4,000 to the face. Not too much I can say about that. Um, I could go Sark uh, and pop him. That's about it. I don't know too much about uh, what else we can do. We can just book him, but he'll still have the attack. Chair top. Ooh, that's that's pretty bad. Um, hmm. We just dark hole. I think that might just be the best option. Yeah, let's just dark hole. What do you got? Nothing. Um. Uh, let's just Gold Sark. The Chief Priest, so we can pop that and get rid of it. And it, it didn't look like we were going to have a fun time at all. Um, this is, uh, I want to play DDR, too. Because, like, no Gold Sark. Let me just pop you, so you don't gain anymore. Strike. Oh, I thought you would have Strike. Um, Let's just hurry up and do this because you don't want to. I don't want to draw my next uh, gym knight. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, well, we might as well just set this because um, he's going to have a fucking another great Marju de Eza. Is that is his name? Is that is his name? De Urza? De Eza. De Eza. That is his name. He's probably going to activate. Okay, Banisher. Wow, okay. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I just just have that. Oh, wow! Really? What was the point of summoning that and then activating that wouldn't die? That's why. That would not die. And sadly, we don't run necrophage in here. Um, that's going to be a problem. Oh fuck! Why couldn't we have another chief priest? At least we're getting it back next turn. Um. Something tells me he's going to have some bullshit. I know he has a trap. And he only has nine cards left. Like, oh, he doesn't even have a trap. That was, that was literally pointless. Um, hmm. Hmm. What, what can I do? This is what we are going to do. If he tops deck another there as a, there's just nothing I can do about that. So, what we're going to do is just attack with this and hopefully um he does not top deck a great my dude as it because if he does this game is completely over or tear top oh he doesn't play extra deck so he's probably going to summon necroface and that's what 3300 he's going to be oh uh, okay well well surrender you have forgot that one fella let's get into the next door and that is said problem with the deck that's the only problem I have with the deck is no tuners. No tuners, we can't do anything. No tuners, we can't do anything. Uh, sadly, we can't do anything with this hand either. I don't know what we can do. We can set. This is nothing. We can't do anything with this. Um, this is why I like to run plague and shit. Is because we at least you know have a tuner. But we can't do anything with this. I'm wondering what do I want to set. I'm definitely going to set this. I just which one of these am I going to set? Um, I would rather have this 
And you know what? I'm just going to normal summon this. So make him think that all my brain fusions is dead. I'm just going to normal summon it. And then um, just deal with it. Just deal with the consequences. Uh, we need a Lavalvo Chain. We need the Lavalvo Chain back badly. Um, let's go ahead and put on Ignore Chain. Because I don't think there's anything I do need to stop on the first summon. Um... Okay, well then, besides ABCs, no, this is a oh, fuck. I have a fucking floodgate trap. Actually, this is good because they can't flip. So hopefully he's, oh my god. He's playing the pendulum version and he has drawn the eccentric. Oh, this is frustrating, man. This is just so frustrating. Oh, man. Twines. Yeah, that, that would be twines, right? I believe so. Oh, and then here's the low light. This is the low part of the deck. This, this right here. This right here is the low part of the deck where you just can't you can't do anything. I probably should have said all that, to be honest. But hindsight is 2020. So, I mean, I'm not going to base it off of that because I had no way to know that I was playing against this deck. In setting one, wow, that's it. Well, you, sir, are getting dwellered. And there we go. That's all we need to see. That is all we really need to see. Wait, does this miss timing? He has a fucking strike. There's a warning, actually. So, you know what? I'm going to activate this brain fusion. He has a strike and a warning. Fuck. That is ridiculous. So let's do this. He's probably going to negate. Come on. You know you, yeah, strike me, bro. I mean, not strike, warning me, bro. No, he's not going to warning. Okay. I mean, that's your fault, bro. That is completely and utterly your fault. This trick clown's going to come out. And uh, I think we. We're gonna go to Dweller. We're gonna go to Dweller first. Please don't be a Maxi. That'd really hurt. Um, we wanna go to Dweller first. Because at least with Dweller, I think I wanna keep this on the field. Yeah. At least with Dweller. Uh, at least with Dweller, we know we're not gonna really get too, many, too much action out of Dweller. There's no reason to book it. What do you do? You just get a, let me see, special more face up or face down. Okay. Well, we're going to go Dweller here. We're going to use these two. So we're going to force this out. Which one is it going to be? The strike or the warning, sir? You should use the warning. You shall use the warning. Yay, so now we're going to run into the strike. Come on, strike me. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Wow, you don't have a strike. That is horrible for you. That is horrible for you, sir. No, do you have a strike now? Why would you wait? <laughs> what, what was the point of waiting if you have a strike? He must have a fucking metaphors combination. That can't be a strike. If that's a strike, that is terrible. I'm going to compulse the shit out of this now. Not compulse, Castell. I don't even care about this no more. I just want to Castell it. Because this is like... Yeah, bro, I'm just I'm Castelling you. you I'm going I'm to force this strike. You're going to use that strike, bro. That is the... That's just simple. That is simple. Simple... Simple right there. That is so simple. I really want to play two. I really want to play two Castell because this shit does come in handy. I don't think he has a strike. Zeke and I have uh, I done goofed. I don't think he has a strike. Hmm. I guess we can just get in with fucking third. Uh, what's the name? No, I was about to say, I've been crying. What is this? This is 37. 
You're gonna be left with 27. I could, I'm, I'm going for game. Fuck it. I'm going for game. We're gonna go for game. I have nine cards in my graveyard. Yeah, we're, we're going for game. Let's go all the way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's no other way we're getting this back. Yeah. Let's use that. Um, that has to be the combination then. It's the only card I could see him like not using. Bam! And so now we get we still get two we still get two summons, and um, I think we end on a high note. We end on a high note. Um, pretty good, just out of cowboy range. But you know what? It's cool. He can't strike me. So if, even if it is a strike, he's not gonna be able to use it. And if it is something crazy, I could book him on something. I can still do my play because I'm going to send Mizuki. I don't think it's, I don't, yeah, it's not Book of Moon, it's, it's, it's nothing of the sort, it has to be, uh, it has to be, um, combination, it has to be something where he can't, can't, obviously can't do anything against me, and there we go with Scarlight, is it going to resolve, just use it bro, just show me what it was, Twines, 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 show me what it was, Twines, 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 show me what it was, show me what it was, Twines, come on, show me, Oh, he surrendered. But you know what? We're going to see what it was. I believe it's a combination. Hold on. I'll be right back. And I was correct. It was a combination. He had a luster. Uh, does he run multiple? He runs multiple of centers, right? Yeah, he does. Man, that would have been stupid to do. It, it, it didn't matter. Um, yeah, so he did have the combination. I was scared of the combination the whole time. Um, oh, he was scared of this. Because he could have just eccentric and popped this and then got a metal foes and then the metal foes would have popped this or a special one what faced up he would have flipped face down then this would have activated flip face down then he would have had a metal foes uh, counter right does he play counter sorry twines about showing your deck but uh does he play counter he doesn't he does play counter so he could have set counter set warning told me to go like i said i was drawn into a summoner monk Green fusion. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I definitely. What did he warning? I forgot what he warning. But um, I know this is gonna glitch out. So, uh, not gonna play the rest. Of, I mean, you guys, y'all just seen what happened. I, I don't know how I forgot. So wait, wait. What did he warning? Oh, he warning the dweller. There you go. He warning the dweller. Um. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Yeah, let me know what you think about the deck by leaving a comment. Also, subscribe to help out the channel. I upload every day, Monday through no, not every day, but I upload three times a uh, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at one p.m. on the dot. So, yeah, there you go. You got three videos a week. So if you enjoy what I do here, it's going to be three of them um, next week. Uh, I mean, that's how I upload it every three weeks. I, I mean, three three uploads a week damn it i'm confusing myself i'm very tired it's late um don't want to miss out on another video uh so yeah that is uh that is my schedule regularly um also next week i will be playing eidolon shira news so definitely be on the lookout for that right there um like i said um in my thursday's video there should be a link to the video so definitely go check that out and subscribe to um, Dwayne McFadden because he's the one that has suggested the deck. He made it himself. So I'm just using his deck and whatnot. So yeah, man, hopefully I don't mess it up as he likes to say. Um, but yeah, uh, click add to help support the channel. And I will see you guys next week. Hopefully I do get to go to YCS Anaheim. At least get to do something. Um, so yeah, man, hopefully I'll be able to go to YCS Anaheim. And I'll be able to play and give you guys a little tournament report or how I did and whatnot. And yeah, then that'll just that's that's it for today, man. See you guys on Monday.